Hello everyone, welcome back to this video by me, King Vector 11 of the news of the past week for GTL, including this week's weekly update content, where the news is given to you in the first part of this video, and the weekly update content is given to you in the second part of this entire video. If you guys do find this highly informative and you enjoyed and wish to stay tuned for more, do leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned, share with your friends, have them you know stick around be informed of anything they may need or want to know for a gta online and now without further ado let's get into the new stuff now first let's start off with the fact that we have new bonuses including clothing and weapon livery unlocks for logging in that's still continuing even through this week including the fact that you can refill all of your ammo armor and snacks this week we also have new discounts including benny's vehicle conversions which means all benny related vehicles that you buy at full price can now be converted at a discount price it's the conversions that are discounted i like to remind you not the vehicle itself just like to let you know we also have select discounts on ls karmic merc shop racing suits and select vehicles that have been typoed to still be in the in-game websites but i will still correct you regardless during this video which speaking of which here is the vehicle showcases with vehicles such as the stinger for the casino podium and the los santos car meet prize ride and the los santos car meet test rides house pleasure works test rides luxury autos and simeon showroom vehicles including the click which is apparently supposed to be for in-game websites but is actually not available so that's a typo on its own and besides that there's even been typos in the discounts for most of these vehicles, which I will correct to you guys in the second part of this video. So don't worry, I checked over it myself. Don't worry, that's why these videos take me long to do. Because I check over the information before I give it to you, just to make sure I am giving the most accurate information out there. Alright, now we also have new pre race and test truck or not test rides, I'm sorry. We, we do have a new test ride for new gen console players, of course, but we also have new time trials, including oh god, not this time trial. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not motivated to reading the rest of that list. Um, <laughs> and Rockstar also states that you can join Los Angeles Automotive Underground and enjoy auto shop bonuses all week. Sweet. Now let's start off with GTA Plus content. Disgusting. Well, you guys, for those who are interested, here you go. You have this hoodie. You have this shirt. You also have this other shirt. And you also have these other unlocks. Good for you, GTA Plus players. Moving on. They have stated, or at least the 5M developers have stated, Community Poll, September 2023 edition, yada yada yada. We now have uh, new community forum guidelines, whatnot, 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 which someone has said very shortly, they said don't bother reading, it's literally just said that there won't be any major changes, it's a partnership that improves customer surf. <laughs> That's good to know. Pointless, as Rockstar always is. Thanks. That's what you get when you connect anything to Rockstar. Besides that, though, when you are not a Rockstar, let's say, developer, and you decide to make your own, let's say, event in the game that actually gives the game more fun, you have guys like this person who has actually made a mission where you get to steal the wife. <laughs> and there's actually a 2 minute and 20 video that was just linked under that or the person that literally shows you the entire footage of how to play the mission, you literally just steal Patricia and deliver it to Michael and you get the single player or story mode cinematic and then the mission passes. I am not aware how much reward you get from that or what the rewards come from that. But you can thank Floorball GTA <laughs> for making this mission, I guess. That's who I assume made this mission because this person got tagged by Tez too which is pretty accurate information I'm getting from actually for tw from Twitter, so there you go. And then we have Rockstar's complete bullshit, so let's just read through it regardless. Today on the official 10th anniversary of blah blah blah, we'd like to thank you for your incredible support, haha. <laughs> like you even give a crap about our support, all you did was anyways keep GTA Plus and keep the 180 plus vehicles removed from the game just because it makes you more profit in the long run. Good for you, Rockstar. Massive BS. PC only! Yesterday's background update, or rather on September 19th, as he would rather state, there's a patched script event of player name join set activity job with custom job name, and cheaters were abusing this for advertisement. <sighs> Rockstar actually patching things? Happy 10 years! Damn. 
<laughs> Moving on! Um, <laughs> someone has stated to celebrate second week of GTA 5's 10th anniversary, Rockstar adds a media stick full of... <laughs> There's actually someone who has in their media player Moody Man and Santa with the title phone, you know, that. And all it is is just the dialogue of your contract missions from the Tuners DLC when you would either do the IAA raids or the uh, other stuff. I think from that one that was playing the video in particular, not exactly sure which... Um, contract it was from but i would assume it's from the bank plates when you hit the transport truck yeah that one so yeah rockstar added that good for you rockstar you know how to add more not so fun stuff that's only as enjoyable as a dead rag anyways <clears throat> moving on I am bringing this all of this up to you just to show you guys all of the new rewards, including the fact that I would like to ensure to you again that you can log in this week again to fully replenish your snacks, armor, and ammo a second time since last week. Pretty epic. Oh, hey, GTA Plus member. <sighs> yeah, apparently if you sign up to GTA Plus, you can now get the Definitive Edition Trilogy for free with that subscription. But now what if someone decides to unsubscribe? Do they get the games for free do they still get the games for free or like d is rockstar trying to promote their gta plus even more just to be able to make gta plus not so as not worth it yeah, yes broken english but still why is rockstar doing such a rockstar your gta plus is bullshit i'm just gonna say that okay there we go move on rockstar game pass yeah rockstar's making game pass with their gta plus subscription absolute fucking bullshit moving on this now makes sense but the games include with gta plus assortment where apparently rockstar wants to add more games to the gta plus subscription from what i think is going to happen in the long run for gta plus subscribers which i completely find absolute bs and that's generally all we know from this past week's news in Twitter, thanks to Tez2, like to give you a shout out for giving all this information out there on Twitter, or was now called X, that I had to make an account for to be able to give you guys this information. Alright, now let's get into the Rockstar Newswire itself, where Rockstar states, in a very long story, but I try and make it as short as possible, they state you can join Los Santos Automotive Underground and enjoy auto shop bonuses all week, as well as client jobs, robbery contract finales, exotic exports, and more dealing out boosted rewards. As they state in a very long paragraph that I'd like to make as short as possible to you in the next few seconds, Rockstar has stated that you get double rewards on auto shop client jobs, double rewards for robbery contract finales from your auto shop, as well as double rewards from exotic exports from the blackboard in your auto shop, as well as the fact that your auto shop and its modifications and renovations and upgrades are all 40% off this week. Now finally, before we end the news, part of this video i would like to let you guys know for new gen players of course you guys have a new premium test ride this week which is the Grotti turismo classic here is the vehicle for you guys have fun staring at that for the next second before i whoops it and you guys also have a new house special works time trial from pacific bluffs to mount gordo and that is all the news that i have for you guys in this video now i hope you guys did enjoy the video so far and i hope it was as informative as i could be and if you guys did enjoy it like subscribe share with your friends let me catch a breath after i finish this sentence and then we shall move on into <sighs> the weekly update now for those who made it to this part of the video, this is where I show you all the new content for GTA Online for this week from September 21st until September 27th, 2023, starting off with the fact that we do not have a new vehicle for GTA Online and that the Hot Ring Hellfire, I would like to tell you right now as clearly as I could in the clearest English for you guys to clearly understand, this vehicle has not just released this week, has already existed for the past week. It was released last week, I would remember at least but yeah this vehicle was not just released this week so here's all the other 
yada 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 and bs 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 for those who are interested but this vehicle is now one week old in gt online it has not just released this week i'd like to make it clear to you okay now let's move on podium vehicle list is the stinger <laughs> which has a lot of appearances in different Grand Theft Auto games. So have fun reading all that. Um, <laughs> the prize drive for this week is the Truffate Nero, in which, shockingly enough, you have to place top five for three days in a row in Ellis Karmit series. Which, lucky for you, if you're too lazy to do that this week, you can still buy it on Benny's website. Have fun with that, if you really want to. Now, Simeon Vehicles includes the Vister Comet, the Invitero Coquette Black Fine, the Vapid Hustler, the Benefactor Sterling GT, and finally the Vapid Clique. All five vehicles, I know there was a typo that was made earlier, where apparently the Clique was available from in-game websites, all five vehicles are not available from in-game websites. I had to double check each and every vehicle individually because of one typo. So I'd like to clarify to you guys, all these five vehicles that I told you are not available from in-game websites anymore in GTA Online. So if you have, if you want to purchase them, this week is your chance to purchase them, as well as the Progen Tyrus and the Anis RE-7B. Those two vehicles in the Luxury Autos showroom are also not available from in-game website purchase anymore, and this is the only chance you have for now to purchase these other vehicles. Test Track Vehicles includes the Dinka Jester, the Vapid Contender, and finally, the Hijack Rustin. Three other vehicles that are shockingly not available for in-game websites. Is this like the first week in like history since the uh, San Andreas Bugs DLC dropped in GTA Online this summer? Like, I have never seen so many vehicles that was put on showcase that you can no longer purchase from in-game websites. Although I do see a few repetitions here or there, like the Fister Comet, but, uh, shocking. Interesting. Um, anyways, moving on. Rewards for this week. We still have continuing, quote-unquote, collectibles that are available for you guys to collect when you log in this week. They put it in for this week. I'm not sure if you can still get it this week, but still rocks are put, so I'm showing it to you guys. You can still get the... Uh, what's it called again? <laughs> the Retired Criminal and the Suede Bucks Livery and Outfit from the game. You can also get this outfit and the Micro SMG Livery, which the outfit is the homie and the um, livery is called Employee of the Month. And finally, there is this outfit and this RPG Livery, which the outfit is called Uncle T. Actually, no. The outfit is called the Groupie, I'm sorry. And the livery for the weapon, the RPG, is Uncle T. There you go. And for those who are also interested, you can log in this week to receive the Alpine hat, which Rockstar forgot to put on their newswire. So that's an image from Ted's to Twitter. Moving on to re-clarify the rewards that I have mentioned earlier. You guys can get triple car meet reputation on all LS car meet races this week. You can also get double rewards on overtime rumble adversary mode with a Ruiner 2000 that features a parachute built in the car. You can also get triple rewards on taxi work this week. <laughs> and here is this, I guess, continuing month's GTA Plus rewards for those who are on new gen console who somehow still have the audacity to waste $6 on absolute bullshit because literally GTA Plus is not worth it. Just letting you guys know so that you can feel more pathetic with your bank accounts that you are completely wasting to death. Poor money. I can go into anything better like Subway and yet you still decide to give it a GTA Plus. Come on. Like, wake up. You also have continuing full set of snacks, ammo, and body armor like renewals for this continuing week in GTA Online. Now let's go into the other rewards, such as double rewards on auto shop client jobs, in which you have vehicles that you can repair in your lifts in your auto shop and you deliver to the clients at full price or part price, depending if you damage it or not and hope they're happy or not. But still, you also have double rewards for robbery contract finales, such as raiding the IAA or you steal the gold from some 
depository or whatever or some other place like hitting the or like killing four contacts in the the the, the Whatever. You guys know that, okay? I hope you guys know that. Still, you guys have rewards on that. You also have double rewards on all exotic exports that renews daily, which I still find complete BS to this very day. Anyways, community series jobs are still continuing rewards for this continuing week, such as this first stunt race in the community series tab, as well as these last two stunt races in the community series tab. We also have these two death matches that are still on double rewards continuing in the community series tab we also have this one lasting standing continuing throughout this week in the community series tab and finally last and well the last and only on the community series tab and the survivals we have this one and only zombie survival that's on double rewards which by the way was rockstar's favorite picks not even from the community themselves but it was rockstar's personal favorite picks that they decided to put on double rewards okay now we also finally last but not least have these adversary mode jobs that are on double rewards for this week that's called overtime rumble one through seven so have fun with that discounts for this week oh my goodness we still have a lot to go through we still have these discounts that i will explain to you in detail where to find them but first we have these uh, the gun van inventory and discounts for this week that also that that includes the pipe wrench the stun gun the unholy hellbringer that's 20 percent off the double barrel shotgun the pump shotgun the nightstick grenades pipe bombs tear gas and armor as well as for those who are pathetic enough to purchase gta plus subscriptions heavy sniper rifle you have 50 percent off that boo fucking who anyways <laughs> You have discounts on the Progen Tyrus that you can only purchase from Luxury Autos Podium. You also have a discount on the Benefactor Sterling GT, which by the way, these prices are directly from the game. Just like to clarify to you that information, okay? So the Benefactor Sterling GT is 40% off for 608,370, where the last vehicle that I just went over is $1,830,600. You also have the Vapid Click that you cannot purchase from in-game websites that is 40% off at 564,780. You also have the Dinka Jester when you go underground in the Alice Carmate that's 50% off this week at $120,000. Finally, property discounts. We have a property discount on all uh, auto shops around the map, which this is probably the most expensive auto shop location that I am personally aware of in the game that now costs $1.1 million. But if you include all the renovations that are all 40% off, you can pay almost $2.7 million this week for the most expensive auto shop location. We also have, like I would like to clarify, we don't have discounts on all Benny vehicles. We just have a discount on all Benny vehicle conversions that are all 40% off this week. Okay. But I was going to the vehicle discounts that are actually available from in-game websites. That includes the BF Weevil, the Grotty Brioso 300, the Classic Broadway, and finally... There's also 50% off all LS Tuners racing suits through September 27th. So there we go. And finally, last but not least, time trials for this week. We have a time trial at Down Chile, at the most painful time trial known to the existence of GTA Online, especially that Rockstar has not made it any easier to complete. Thanks, Rockstar. And we also have a new House Special Works time trial for new gen players that is called, or is located rather, in Pacific Bluffs. And that's all the information I have for you guys for this week. <sighs> now breathe, man. Wow, I finally feel good completing this video. It takes me hours to make something like this. Yeah, I make all this information as clear as I possibly could to give you guys to let you all know of anything you may need or want to know for this week in GTA Online, including the news of the past week, including a lot of GTA Plus bullshit for those who are still spending their money on what literally is not constituting to anything worthy in life besides spending your money anyways um still thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy find this as informative as i possibly could have made it and if you did enjoy do leave a like subscribe share with your friends stay tuned for more like this every thursday evening and i'll see you all on the next video i can breathe finally 
Oh wait, the time trial's coming up. I still have to do that. No! 